Simon, thank you very much for joining us today on uh, Global Sports Jobs 60 Second Interview Series. Please explain who you are and what you do. Yeah, I'm Simon Tolson. I'm the Secretary General for the International Canoe Federation. Fantastic. And what does that, that actually involve? Um, I basically run the, uh, all the events from the Olympic Games down to uh, regional and continental uh, championships uh, for, for all disciplines of canoeing. We have eight disciplines, uh, two Olympic and six non, uh, and I'm responsible for TV, broadcast, for the uh, marketing, uh, finance, uh, anti-doping and the rules and regulations of the sport. Fantastic. And what, uh, how did you get to become Secretary General of the International Canoe Federation? Um, it's a long story, but basically I started with uh, degrees in, in sport uh, science uh, and uh, a lot of uh, vocational experience at, uh, uh, locally, uh, volunteering in, uh, in various uh, sports organisations. Um, then moved into, into uh, Manchester United Football Club, uh, where I worked for a few years in the marketing department, uh, and having a break as an intern into the uh, International Olympic Committee, uh, where basically I, I spent nine years developing uh, uh, NRC relations. We actually developed a whole new department, which I was responsible for, mentored and uh, by, by uh, someone that had a lot of experience, uh, got a couple of lucky breaks, and then started to con do consulting work with various organizations, including Formula One, uh, and eventually ended up uh, uh, being attracted to a job in this uh, uh, international federation, uh, Secretary General. What advice would you give to somebody looking to, uh, to get involved in, in sports administration stroke international federations? The, the, the field is really competitive. It's even probably more competitive now than when I first started. Uh, but the one thing that is uh, imperative is, is volunteering. The CV needs to, needs to have uh, as wide a variety of things on there, whether it's coaching, whether it's looking after youth clubs, or it's running events as a volunteer. The more, the more uh, especially at the entry level, the more, the more uh, events that you do and the more experience you have, the more an employer is going to look and say, OK, it's worth taking a risk on, on somebody. It's worth actually trying to, 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 to invest in that person because they look like they've they got to get up and go and they're actually really, really interested in what they're doing and they have a little bit of experience. Thanks, Simon. And the last question, what, what is your, when you interview uh, f for your uh, International Canoe Federation, what is the, what's your most favourite question and why? I'd say the most famous question is probably quite a mundane one, but it's, it, it would be, uh, um, what is your personality? Tell me about your personality. I, I find it offsets people because they're actually not expecting a non uh, operational or non-logistical question. They're, they're, they're usually set ready to, to explain about what they've done and how they've done and what, what great achievements they've done and to sort of slip in a question of really of who are you? Um, it often upsets people, it puts them off guard a little bit and I don't let them just say yeah I'm a nice guy, I'm, I'm, I'm friendly and open. I really really want to know what what personality they are and, and for that it helps me gauge what, what really do they think of themselves and how and how do they work, what kind of person they are, and if that fits with the type of team that I have and the type of people I have in my, and the direction that my organisation is taking. And I find that quite, quite a good indicator of the type of person that I would employ. Simon, that's fantastic. Thank you very much for your time and, and best of luck.